So you've got to take a blood sugar level. It's probably been a while since you've taken one and that's why you've clicked on to watch this video. Okay, I'm gonna write in the video description a normal blood glucose level on somebody that doesn't have diabetes. You should be looking anywhere between four to eight. When you get around the eight, you know, that's when people start to question, well, why is your blood glucose level so high? Okay, so you'll, uh, we put a picture of the equipment that you'll need. And this is the glucometer that we're using, okay? Um, so I've got my, uh, my uh, testing strips. There's two types of testing strips. There's one that's going to check for glucose and the other one is going to check for ketones. The procedure is exactly the same. So you really do need to look at um, the jar of sort of test strips that you're going to be using. I'm going to be using a guillotine, little sort of um, cricket thing. Look, this fucking hurts. I hate it, okay? Um, but I'm going to do it for you, right? But uh, you'll need a cotton ball. Um, I've taken blood glucose levels on somebody um, that gave me a high reading and it's because the lady ate a mandarin and there was some glucose on her fingers. So um, I recommend that you wipe their hands just with a warm towel. So don't clean their hands with alcohol because that could give you a deranged reading of ketones. So just like a cloth with um, like a warm chucks or something like that and just clean their hands as well too. So, um, so normal glucose level, I've gone over that. So what you need to do is you need to take a strip out. So I'll just um, get a close up of me taking the strip out. Because every strip is pretty much the same. The strips will have a little electronic thingo. Okay, so that will tell you that that needs to go in the machine. And this little area here is where you're going to soak the blood up. So the machine gets activated by just putting the strip in. And you know now, that the machine is, um, the, the strip has now gone far enough and you've got a little droplet there that's asking you for a sample of blood, okay? So there's a little guillotine, just twist this, okay? Put it over your finger, stab it, and get the blood out, okay? So it's always easier to get the machine to the patient. A lot of people get this wrong and they take the patient to the machine. You'll get the patient to keep nice and still and take the machine to the patient and um, I, I just like a close up of this, slide the strip onto the patient's skin so that it will drink the blood. Okay, once it has enough blood, you'll hear a beep, it'll give you some sort of confirmation that there's um, enough blood and it can take the test for you. And this is giving me a glucose reading of 6.3. Okay, that's post protein bar this morning, so please, any of you out there, please don't have too much concern for my diabetes. Okay, I want to Oscify this. Okay, if this is an OSCE, we are now looking at certain things. We're looking at the disposal of the needle. This needs to go into a sharp. Although the needle isn't accessible anymore, it's been rendered sort of safe, this goes into a sharp. And the strip, the cotton ball and everything else needs to go into the contaminated waste. Okay, I'm not gonna show that on video, I just want you to be conscious of the fact where that it's an OSCE or a real life procedure, that's what you need to do, okay? And then you need to act on it, okay? Now if the patient is symptomatic or unconscious and you found that they've got a low blood glucose level, I want to show you the hypoglycemic kit. And they're pretty much universal. So the oral, I mean, the, um, hypo, uh, the hypo kits, the hypoglycemic kits, will come with some powdered glucose, okay, or glucogen, all right. Flip the top off. And it also provides you, so I'm bleeding still, it also provides you with a syringe of water for injection. So all you need to do is that you need to harvest the powder from here, okay? So by now you should all know how to draw up, okay? Squirt the water for injection into the glucose, give it a shake. And by when you're shaking it up, I think that you need to actually start thinking about a decision. Are you going to give this intramuscularly or intravenously? Now, um, not everybody's IV capable, and that's why we actually like to encourage you to give it in a muscle. So what muscle do you want to give it into? Um, look, let's just keep it really nice and simple. Let's give it into the thigh. That way, uh, we can start thinking about patients that have anaphylaxis or whatever. You can just give it into the thigh through the clothes if it is a little bit of an emergency. Um, but you can give it intravenously if that's what you so want to do, okay? It's your call, okay? I'm just sort of giving you a bit of a heads up on how to use this equipment as well. 
Now, in the event, oh yeah, okay, so disposal of this goes into a sharps container, which I'll do as well too. I guess I also want to give you a bit of a heads up if there is a hyperglycemic type of picture that's happening, then you have to think about, okay, what are the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia? And um, that will be things like, you know, rapid breathing, it will be that sort of acetone type of breath that they may, they may have or whatever. They might be going to the, passing a lot of water and they might be really, really thirsty, but that's a lesson for another day. So um, I hope you found this useful and good luck. Guys, um, sorry, I just wanted to do a bit of an addition to this. Look, it's been five minutes since I've actually pricked my finger. If you didn't get a proper reading or whatever, have a bit of a think about before you expose your patient to another needle, just try grabbing their finger and squeezing it again. Um, I don't know, I think my, I might have some coagulopathy or something because um, uh, I can go back in an hour and get a blood sample out of this, but just have a bit of a think about that and that's kind of the other thing I wanted to, to sort of get to. So again, thank you.